Hello everyone. As we know, food is essential to sustain life and to meet our body's basic needs for growth, development and function. Every cell in the body depends on a continuous supply of calories and nutrients. Eating and food, however, also have symbolic meanings associated with love, sensuality, comfort, stress reduction, security, rewards, and power. World Food Day is observed every year on 16th October in memory of the day when the Food and Agricultural Organization, FAO, of the United Nations was founded in 1945. The primary focus is to tackle global hunger and strive to eradicate hunger across the world. Today, it is celebrated by all UN member states, which include India. This year, World Food Day marks the 75th anniversary of the founding of FAO with a view to looking towards the future we need to build together and the theme is Grow, Nourish, Sustain Together. World Food Day 2020 will highlight how food and agriculture are an essential part of COVID-19 response. It is time to call for global cooperation and solidarity to help the most vulnerable to recover from the crisis. The COVID-19 global health crisis has been a time to reflect on things we truly cherish and our most basic needs. These uncertain times have made many of us rekindle our appreciation for a thing that some take for granted without giving a thought that many go without food. World Food Day is not only about celebrating the amazing food that we have the privilege of indulging in, but it is about raising awareness for people who do not have such privilege. There are people all over the world who are suffering from hunger. Starvation is a massive problem in a number of countries and we need to do more to raise awareness and combat this problem. It seems crazy that we live in a world whereby a large portion of the population can indulge in any sort of food they wish without a second thought while others struggle to put food on the table. Of the roughly 7 billion people in the world, an estimated 870 million suffer each day from hunger. See the data. Many countries are battling starvation. Kenya is a prime example. In countries like Kenya, the price of basic foods has skyrocketed, which has resulted in a large number of children going hungry. That's hunger from malnutrition or not eating even the lowest amount of daily recommended calories, which are 1800 while often enduring food insecurity or not knowing where the next meal is coming from. Do you know how much percentage of Indian population every night sleeps hungry? The answer is no, we don't. People are forced to eat boiled tendu leaves, wild roots, mango starch, bamboo roots, powdered tamarind and tagan seeds in some parts of the country. On other side, more people in the world, 1.7 billion are considered obese or overweight from a daily caloric intake that in some cases it is least 6 to 7 times the minimum. See this difference and think about it. This paradox is nothing new, experts say. It just shows the problem isn't that we have too little food, 
It's what we do with the food we have. It is time to build back better. In recent decades, the world has made significant progress in improving agricultural productivity. Although we now produce more than enough food to feed everyone, our food systems are out of balance. Hunger, obesity, environmental degradation, loss of agrobiological diversity, food loss and waste and a lack of security for food chain workers are only some of the issues that underline this imbalance. As countries begin to develop and implement COVID-19 recovery plans, it is an opportunity to adopt innovative solutions based on scientific evidences so that they can build back better and improve food systems, making them more resistant to shocks. We must have a look on some key facts. The first is food system gaps. Approximately 14% of the food produced for human consumption is lost each year between the stages where it is grown or raised up to when it reaches the wholesale market. More food is wasted at the retail food and consumer stages. So it is the time for action. A steady increase in hunger since 2014 together with, with rising obesity clearly indicates the need to accelerate the scale of actions to strengthen the food system and protect people's livelihoods. And third is very important to think about, we are living on a hungry planet. Over 2 billion people do not have regular access to safe, nutritious and sufficient food. The global population is expected to reach almost 10 billion by 2050. Now you can imagine the situation. So what can you do? Everyone across our food sector plays an important role in ensuring nutritious food is available. But you can make a difference too. Consumers are more than just eaters. You also have the power to influence what is produced through healthy food choices, which in turn contributes to more sustainable food systems. Here is a list of everyday actions to become a food hero and make healthy food part of your lifestyle. So you can contribute a lot by doing these three actions. Number one, choose local. Whenever you can support food heroes by buying locally grown fresh food such as from a farmer's market in your community. In doing so, you are helping smallholder farmers that produce the food, your local economy and you are encouraging crop diversity. So eat fresh and choose local. Second action is choose healthy and diverse. A healthy diet contributes to a healthy life. When we choose to eat diverse food, we encourage a variety of foods to be produced. This is not only healthier for our bodies, but healthier for soils and our environment because a diverse diet favors biodiversity. And biodiversity always favor a sustainable ecosystem. So this way you can contribute a lot. Third is respect food and food heroes you know food loss and waste can occur throughout the food system once it arrives at your table you can play your part learning how to store uneaten food properly for another day's meal is one way to avoid wasting perfectly good food So World Food Day is calling for global cooperation. 
This will require improved social protection schemes and new opportunities offered to digitalization and e-commerce, but also more sustainable agricultural practices that preserve the earth's nature, resources, our health and the climate also. Now, World Food Day is calling for global solidarity to help all populations and especially to those who are on the edge. We are Indians and know the importance of a single grain. Have a look on the simple, nutritious, traditional recipes cooked from local grains and fresh vegetable. Let us take a pledge that we will contribute and support in every way we can. Thank you so much.